we will override the core uh, report uh, of the uh, selling application ok. So, uh, for that first we will see that how the uh, selling report is showing like that. Uh, for that I am going to the open selling, so it will open the selling application and here in the report it is showing the sales order analysis report. So, right now the report is coming like this, so it is uh, loading okay. and uh, let me just refresh again ok. So, this is the sales order, sales order analysis report. So, we will over to override this report we will create the one custom new application and for that we will go to the terminal and from here bench new app and here custom report like ok. So, here I have to fill up the some information like the app title ok and here I, I will copy the same report and the publisher will be the chira like and here I will I am mentioning the my mail id ok and the just no ok. So, here it will create the new application in my local directory if I go to the here in the my folder in apps then here you can see that it creates the custom report application in the my directory ok right now there is a this default file here in the custom report there is a just only init file right. So, now I will install this application first and uh, to install the application bench hyphen hyphen site my site name is Chirag Dev and then install app and I'm, I will just mention the app name custom report. Uh, Chirag Dev bench hyphen hyphen say Chirag Dev and the yeah uh, bench ok. So, it will install this application and uh, now uh, here we will go to the report list report list and the report list is there. Let me just press ok, I think I have to start the bench ok and then just refresh. <coughs> so, here in the report list there is a sales order analysis report. So, to override this report I will change the module name here and I will mention the my module name custom report and then I will save it. So, it will automatically create a report folder in my the application ok and here you can see that there is a js file and the py file and the json file. So, if I just open this both file ok then there is a no any data any logic and the data uh, right now. So, if I go open that search order analysis report again uh, selling application and I am just going the sales order analysis and then see here it is showing the nothing to show because I all I override the complete report and now I will implement the my logic. So, uh, for that what we will do I will go to the ERP next and uh, in the selling application there is a sales order analysis report. So, I will copy the JS file and I will paste that JS file in my uh, app uh, folder then I will copy the python file ok and then I will paste it here ok and now I will restart the bench ok and if I just refresh this report it will get the data right. Now, all the method and the all the uh, data is now overrided in my uh, custom application. Now, here in this get data method there is a logic implemented in that how uh, they can get the data ok. So, here you can up you, you can uh, do the left join and you can do the uh, join uh, with any other table like the customer table and you can apply the condition and based on that you will get you will customize 
your report if you don't want to override the complete uh, this method then you can just override the get data method and you can import this method like from erp next dot selling dot sales order analysis report sales order analysis report analysis and then you can directly import that method and you can call this method anywhere from uh, uh, this uh, logic so you can just over uh, override this method and it, it will and you can apply your logic it will work just if you just you have to import the method from this path yeah thank you